In this session of Third Millennium Leadership, I would like to talk with you about values and based on proven success to help you to develop values that stand the test of time. I believe that our post-pandemic world has the opportunity to restore respect and to reinstate values. Now we'll talk about respect in another session. I'm convinced that really great leadership requires reflecting upon what our values are, understanding what impact they have on our leadership style and the work we do, and thinking about how we are making a difference for the better in our world, in our business. Ancient wisdom tells us the things that are seen are temporal, but the things that are not seen are eternal. We all live with a system of values, whether we are conscious of these or not. Here's a real story that shows how our values can change and bring about great benefit to others. My story is about Scott Harrison, the founder of Charity Water. His story is very helpful because it speaks clearly of the values that many people in the West today hold and how this can change for the better as it did for Scott. You see, by his late 20s, Scott felt he was living the dream. He had a beautiful girlfriend, a BMW, a Rolex watch, a grand piano, a golden retriever. However, deep inside, he knew there had to be more to life than making a lot of money and enjoying himself. His journey of discovery led him to start this amazing charity that has been seeking to bring clean drinking water to more than a billion people who don't have it. Scott has shown that people can change and make a positive difference in our world. As a result of his changed values, his charity Water has raised $370 million, funding tens of thousands of water projects in schools, communities, hospitals and clinics, as well as providing safe, clean drinking water to millions of people in dozens of countries across Africa, Asia and Latin America. So how can we translate this into our situation? Well, we have ample evidence about how our values are making an impact on others. And I would like to share with you from my own business experience. You see, in March 2000, I raised 100 million British pounds to buy 7,500 homes from a UK public authority. There were more than 30,000 people living in these homes, but the buildings and the occupants had been badly neglected by their landlord. The rents were becoming increasingly unaffordable and people were becoming poorer. Many families had multiple problems. Through my new business, which I named Luminous, which gave the idea of bringing light into dark situations. We repaired their homes, we transformed neighborhoods, we helped people who uh, hadn't had it before to have a sense of personal pride, self-esteem, and to build their aspirations for the future. We created jobs and opportunities for local people to express their views. In fact, I met with and spoke to hundreds of them at Saturday morning conferences, making myself accessible as their chief executive. And we created one of the country's most celebrated workplaces where people really enjoyed rather than endured their work. Others queued to get a job or a home. That's how immensely popular and highly regarded Luminous and its name became. All of this was because we had a foundation of values. So do you know what your values are and the impact they are having on others and the society in which we live? As an example, 
we encouraged luminous people, that's the people who worked for us, to have a strong sense of commitment to the communities in which they were working and also living. We had a passion uh, about bringing in change in a visible way, such as seeing the physical environment maintained to a good standard, helping young people to be successful in their schoolwork, giving them better life chances, and working with all of our residents, but especially families, those with serious life problems and very vulnerable people to help to deal with their difficulties, to give them a better future. We also strongly emphasize the value of being part of a community. And a great example of how this worked was actually in the way in which people came together, for example, in those Saturday morning residence conferences. You see, those would have been seen as unique events in any business sector, not only because of the large numbers attending on an entirely voluntary basis when perhaps they could have been doing something better as they thought, but also because of the exceptional sense of family or fun and freedom that we gave people as they voiced their views. One of our values was to help bring about a better world and different people work together helping us to do this in the area where Luminous operate. Now all of this is directly relevant to you and I'll come to that in a minute. How should we then be acting to make a difference? Well this is where I believe every one of us can be involved. I believe it all starts with an act of our will where we decide that things have got to change. From there onwards it's a bit like a domino effect so that our values our thought patterns, our relationships all change over a period of time as well as throughout our lives. See, as in the experience of people like Scott Harrison in the great work he's doing and others, selfishness can give way to compassion, which in turn builds generosity. And this produces transformation both in yourself as well as in those around you and ultimately restoration. And this can happen in relationships of all kinds, as well as the strengthening of our communities. Scott Harrison felt that if we were to build a charity to solve the global water crisis, we would need to build an epic brand to rival Nike and Apple and Coca-Cola. That's what he said. So why is the idea of an epic brand so important to us? It was important to me. This comment of Scott Harrison's mirrored what we were doing in Luminous. You see, the Luminous brand became closely linked with excellence in customer service delivered by highly motivated and inspired people. People who were willing to go the extra mile. People who got out of bed each day saying, something good is going to happen to me today. Who tried to make every day count for something that they could remember positively. People who seized the day. People who did all that they could to be the best. This became our 2020 vision along the road to renewal. It was an extraordinary objective that became inextricably linked to the Luminous name and brand. So when people saw Luminous, they were encouraged to think about words and concepts like excellence, premium brand, service, world changes. All of this sprang from what we believed was important. These were our values, and these values stand the test of time. So let's turn to you as a leader. What values do you hold? What matters to you most? What are you seeking to achieve? What does success look like for you? How do you need to change or adapt to get there? And how do you live out your values? 
If we ask other people, what would they say about what they think are your values? I believe that our post-pandemic world has the opportunity to restore respect and to reinstate values. Will you be a leader who helps to make this a reality in the situation where you are? If you do, you will be truly successful. You will see business results as I have. You will have people working with you and for you who really are inspired at work. And remember this, inspired people give inspirational service. You will build an epic brand and you will help our post-pandemic world to make progress along the road to renewal.